here are 29 things to be added in Minecraft 1.21 and 1.20.5. Minecraft 1.21 is getting a new mob, the Bogged. The Bogged is a variant of skeleton that's covered in moss and mushrooms. The Bogged only has 8 hearts of health, which is 2 hearts less than a regular skeleton having 10 hearts. These guys can spawn in swamp and mangrove swamps and behave similar to skeletons except they attack slower but shoot tipped arrows of poison. In other words, Minecraft has added a skeleton that shoots poison arrows which is going to be really annoying. As some of you may know, Minecraft 1.21 is also adding a new structure which is called the Trial Chamber. The Trial Chamber will generate in the overworld and it's made out of a variety of copper blocks. The purpose of this structure is to provide a combat challenge for players as when you explore the structure you encounter rooms that contain a new spawner variant that is called the Trial Spawner. Trial Spawners look like this and the blocks that surround the spawner act as a hint as to which mob can spawn from said spawner. For example, if the spawner is surrounded by cobwebs it will spawn spiders, if it's surrounded by bone blocks it will spawn skeletons. Another type of trial spawner that will always generate is a spawner that spawns a new mob that is called the breeze. The breeze looks like this and is a hostile mob that attacks by firing wind charges at the player. This attack will deal high knockback to you if you're hit by it which can be kind of annoying. The breeze has 15 hearts of health and if you manage to kill it it will drop breeze rods which look like this. These breeze rods can be used to craft a new weapon that's been added and it's called the mace but more on that later. Now these trial spawners work differently to normal spawners as the mobs that spawn from them will spawn in waves instead of spawning constantly. Once the mobs are defeated the trial spawner will go into cooldown mode for 30 minutes but you'll also be rewarded for your efforts. That's right, the spawner will eject random treasure items as well as a new item called the trial key. The trial key is used to unlock a type of chest that can be found in the trial chamber. These are called vaults and once you unlock the vault with a key you can get a variety of special items including a new item called the heavy core. Now the heavy core when combined with the breeze rod I mentioned earlier allows you to create Minecraft's newest weapon which is called the mace. The mace is a heavy weapon that does a base damage of 3.5 hearts or 5.25 hearts with a critical hit. However, what makes the mace so awesome and overpowered is that its damage increases depending on how high you fall when you attack with it. This means I can fall from like 3 blocks high and kill this creeper in one hit. But what's even crazier about the mace is that the amount of damage it can inflict when falling is unlimited. This means you could literally kill the warden when falling from 90 seven blocks high and yeah that's just insane. But the coolest thing about the mace is that if you manage to land a successful hit when falling you will negate any of the fall damage that you were meant to take. This weapon is seriously overpowered man. Wolves have remained mostly unchanged since they were added in 2011. But in a recent snapshot for 1.20.5, wolves have received a huge change. That's right, Minecraft is introducing 8 new variations of the wolf that can now be found in their specific biome. Now the original wolf we know and love from 2011 isn't going anywhere. It's just instead being renamed to the pale wolf and can now only be found in tiger biomes. With that said, our first new wolf skin that was added is known as the Spotted Wolf, which looks like this. This wolf variant can be found in the Savannah Plateau biome and it looks drastically different to the wolf we've had for over 12 years, so I'm not used to seeing this. Next up, we have the Striped Wolf, which looks like this and is found in the Wooded Badlands biome. We have also been blessed with the Snowy Wolf, which can be found in the Grove biome, as well as the Ashen Wolf, which can be found in the Snowy tiger. We then have the chestnut wolf, which can only be found in the old growth variant of the spruce tiger biome. The way you know you've found an old growth tiger biome instead of a regular one is if some of the spruce trees are huge. We then have the black wolf, which is located in an old growth pine tiger biome, which is not to be confused with the old growth spruce biome I mentioned before. We have the rusty wolf, which is located in the jungle biome and looks like this. And finally, we have my personal favourite which is the woods variant of the wolf. These guys can be found in forest biomes and it will probably be the first wolf I tame because I just absolutely love how they look. Now while the wolf behaviour will remain the same, players have been given more of a reason to explore the overworld now as you can collect all the different wolf variants across the world
world instead of having eight wolves that just look identical. Although, let's be real, I'll still probably do that because the OG wolf will always be the best. But yeah, what is your favourite wolf variant that's been added? Let me know in the comments. Not only do we have new wolves coming to Minecraft, we also have wolf armour being added to give our best friends some extra protection. So wolf armour is crafted with armadillo scutes, which can be obtained from, well, armadillos, but more on that later. The wolf armour has 64 durability points and absorbs all damage from other mobs, the player, and full damage. However, with that said, wolf armour will not absorb damage dealt to the wolf if they are drowning, freezing, or suffocating. Wolf armour can be unequipped from your wolf by right-clicking them with shears, and you can also dye your wolf armour by combining it with dye in the crafting grid. A new mob was added for Minecraft 1.20.5, which is the armadillo. Armadillos are passive mobs and can be found in badlands and savannah biomes. Armadillos are easily scared, rolling up into a ball if they're hurt or if they're standing close to undead mobs. They'll also do this if the player is sprinting near them. But when armadillos are rolled up, they'll take less damage, which is handy for them as they only have six hearts of health. Armadillos will drop skews, which is the item I mentioned earlier to craft wolf armor. There are two ways to get armadillo skews. One way is by using a brush on an armadillo, or you can just wait five to ten minutes for an armadillo to drop a skewed. The next awesome feature that will be coming to 1.21 is the addition of auto crafting, which comes in the form of a new block that is called the crafter. The crafter is in the name really, it's basically a new redstone block that allows you to automatically craft items. The crafter's interface has slots in the form of a crafting grid that allows you to fill out the recipe of the items you want to auto craft. You can also click on empty slots within the crafter's UI to disable that slot. The disable mechanic allows the auto crafter to work more efficiently when auto crafting items with redstone. Minecraft 1.21 will also be introducing a variety of new blocks. This includes a new light source variant which is known as the copper bulb. Take a look. And copper gets more uses too. With the copper set, we want to introduce a tinkered kind of feel, and the new copper bulbs give players a fun way to light up their builds. We actually just used some of them in our village, and it created such a cozy feeling. Yeah, they use copper bulbs when they get oxidized, they get quite dim, but with this axe, I can actually scrape off the oxidation and make it brighter again. I love that mechanic so much that like the more oxidized the copper bulbs are, the more dim the light will be. I think it's super interesting for storytelling. Definitely, I, I don't even need to bring torches anymore to the trial chambers, I just bring an axe and light my way through. So the copper bulb is made from, well, copper, and like other copper blocks will oxidize over time. What's interesting is that the light level of the copper bulb is determined on how much the block has oxidized. This means the more oxidized the bulb is, the dimmer it becomes. But you can reverse this by scraping off the oxidization with an axe. Subscribe if you want to see more 1.21 videos. Anyways, bye!